Um, and now if we set this to something like flow like that and click E, then we gain a lot of gold. And I can stop it by just doing Q. What is up guys, it's the scripting legend here, and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how you can make your very own auto clicker using Python. So in today's video, what you're going to need to do is download Python, first of all if you haven't already. You can use the built-in Python IDLE or Visual Studio Code. If you're using Visual Studio Code, make sure you have the Python um, extension installed from the extension store. And the next thing you're going to want to do is make a new file. It can be called autoclicker.py, which is what I have mine called. The next thing you're going to want to do is go on the command line and run the commands um, in the description they will be. And then we'll import all five of these packages. Yep. And to show you guys that this works, not right now, but I will be using this website I made a long time ago. If you click this gold, then your gold goes up. It's basically that cookie clicker website, but it's not. Alright, so the first thing you're going to want to do is actually make a... Well, once you import, you're going to want to make a variable called epressed. And it's going to be equal to false. Then we'll drop two lines and we'll do root is equal to tkinter dot tk in empty brackets. Drop a line, we'll do root.title um, and we'll do brackets and we'll call it auto clicker. Um, also guys, I will be explaining at the end of the video this time because I think that will be working better. Um, so yeah, then we'll do t is equal to tk enter dot label and this will be, um, the text will be equal to, um, enter amount of seconds between clicks. Drop a line will do entry is equal to tk enter dot entry. Then we'll drop two lines and we'll do t dot pack, empty brackets, um, capital T dot pack, empty brackets, entry dot pack, empty brackets, drop two lines and we're going to define our new function and it's going to be called click. So we'll do def clip and no parameters for this function and we're just going to do win32 api um, dot mouse underscore event, empty bracket not empty brackets, but brackets, and then win32 con dot mouse event f underscore left left up. Oh uh, no, wait, left down. And then we'll do comma zero, comma zero. Then we'll do, um, so we're going to make a variable called um, entry value and it's going to be equal to int string and it will be um, entry dot get. Oh my gosh. Um, let's try that again. Int string um, entry dot get. Okay. So like that, and then we're going to do time dot sleep uh, entry value, and then we're going to do win thirty two api dot mouse underscore event uh, brackets win thirty two con dot um, mouse event f underscore left up comma zero comma zero and that's it for this function so in, in the second here what we're gonna do is make a while loop calling our click thing so we're going to do um while true and then we're going to do um if keyboard dot is underscore pressed 
and we'll do Q. Then what we're going to do is E pressed is equal to false, and um, this is supposed to be is equal to false. And then we're going to drop a line to that value statement. We're going to do root dot update. Um, and then we're going to drop a line. We'll do if keyboard underscore is pressed. I mean, is keyboard dot is underscore pressed. Um, and we'll check if E is pressed this time. Um, and if E was pressed, then what we're going to do is make E pressed equal to true. And then we're going to make, um, while, yeah, we'll do while keyboard, keyboard dot is underscore pressed, uh, Q is equal to false and um, E pressed is equal to true. And then what we're going to do is call our click function and then we'll drop a line we'll do if keyboard dot is underscore pressed Q then um, break and it's supposed to be a colon. And now if we save this and right click and run Python file in terminal, um, then I get an error because I didn't indent my break. And now if I right click and run this, after I close this, all right, here we are. So let me go to my test site and if I just put in one second for now and then hover over this gold and click E, then it's clicking, and if I click Q, then it's still clicking. I, I click Q and it stop. Um, so now if I change this to like half a second and click E, um, by, by accident, I X'd out of it, so I'm gonna right click and run Python file in terminal back to the test site and put in like 0 0.5 seconds and then click E. Alright so oh my bad so what we did wrong is here and we did int it's supposed to be float so if we right click and run this now it will work so if we go here and do 0 0.5 click E then it clicks a little faster, we click Q, then it stops. Sometimes you have to hold Q a little. I'm not really sure what it depends on. Um, and now if we set this to something like low like that and click E, then we gain a lot of gold. And I can stop it by just doing Q. Yeah, see right now I can just stop it by just clicking Q. I don't have to hold it, and um, yeah, we can always make this, we can make this as fast as we want to make it. Um, just try not to break your computer. Alright, so um, that's going to be it for the video. If you don't want to, um, if you don't want to learn what all this stuff does, which I recommend you do learn what it does so that it helps you and you just understand so you can maybe add your own touch to this, make it different, customize it, whatever you want. Um, but if you're leaving now, then please remember to leave a like and subscribe. Um, we are trying to hit 500 subscribers by March or before the end of March. That would be really cool, so please do that, and it also helps me out a ton. For those of you who actually want to learn from these videos, the first thing we do is import our packages, and then we make a variable that's a boolean called E press so just whenever E is pressed um whenever the person presses E on the keyboard it will make E press to true the reason why we have to do this is because keyboard um doesn't have like it 
it only detects if it's being pressed at the moment. So the last time we clicked E, it'll just change that to um, true. And then until the person clicks Q, then um, it'll keep as true. And then we make a new TK enter GUI and call it auto clicker. Right there, it says auto clicker because that's what we named it. Um, and then we have a label that's just a piece of text that says enter the amount of seconds between clicks. Then we have an entry which is just a field where we can enter information. Then when we call them as to pack, that means that we just place them on the GUI. Also, we can like specify where they are inside of there. Um, then our function click. So here we use Win32 API and its mouse event in Win32Con and its mouse events to um, uh, basically in this first line we just imagine it as this. You're just holding down uh, left click. And um, the zero comma zero that just gives an offset. So we want to click right where the mouse is. So just like it would. So imagine you're holding down your um, left mouse button, and it goes right where you are. Right, clicks right there. And then um, keep imagining that. And then here we just get the value, and we make the string version of the of what we entered in there into it float uh, so that it can have decimals and then we sleep for that time and then here you after that sleep is over you can finally uh, let go of your left mouse button and it just goes up and that's basically what it does the first thing makes it hold down and then we wait for the amount of time we want to leave it down for and then we click it up, like let go of it. And now in this while loop, if um Q is not pressed, then this is just gonna be false. Then root that update. Um, this you need. If you don't have this, then you need to have root dot main loop. Um, but then you can't have any like other while loops or stuff like that. And that's why we did root that update inside of a while loop. And then if the keyboard, if E is being pressed on the keyboard, then we're going to make E press to true. And then before we can even let go of E, this while loop will have already fired. And um, if E pressed is true also, then we'll just click. And this will keep repeating until Q is pressed and then once that's done it will break out of this while loop and once again check if E is being pressed and if it's not then it'll just perform no actions. Um, so yeah, that is going to be it for today's video. If you enjoyed and this helped you out, please remember to leave a like and subscribe. Also guys, comment down below any video ideas or if you need help with anything related to the videos and that will be it for today's video so if you enjoyed and this helped you out please remember to leave a like and subscribe as i said earlier we're trying to reach 500 by march or before the end of march so please do that it helps out a ton and yeah i'll see you in the next video guys bye